Well, welcome, friends. Our first flight, post SU-7, System Update 7, came out yesterday. I spent, uh, well, I started to download about, oh, I don't know, 2 o'clock in the afternoon and finished at about 11 o'clock at night. All the updates. There were a lot. Shallow water descent rate. I'm sorry, slow. 2900. 14,000. We're flying to Louisville, Kentucky. Took off 25 minutes, 48 seconds ago. I should get further descent instructions. Don't disappoint me. Yeah. Down to 4,000 rear whiskey. So, all sorts of stuff on the boards. Some people having a lot of problems. Other people not reporting any problems. I had to do some tweaking. Zoom in on this down to 10. I had to do some tweaking when I first got back in the sim. Or various settings that needed to be corrected and so forth. I had to, it defaulted all my settings to easy. I don't f fly easy. I have all my settings at hard. Uh, but with a few corrections there, everything else seemed to work. They fixed a number of the issues from the last update in terms of the ITT alarm and so forth. These buttons. Safe, safety master warning and safety master caution work now. Continue slowing. 40 miles, 12,000 feet. Just perfect. Shallow auto descent rate to 1,800 feet per minute. Slow to 260. We'll see if the landing gear alarm guy is still has been fixed yet. I don't know. We're landing at the ILS runway 17 right. Local time in Louisville is 5.27 p.m. That's uh, sunset. It's 5.27 p.m. in Louisville. Slow to 250. A very detailed approach plate. I'll show it to you. Boy, that looks great, huh? They added haze, which I think looks fantastic. People were bitching about it. I think it looks good. Um, here's our approach. Ah. Uh, I will tell you, well, let me do show you the approach real fast. It's quite a detailed approach. Kurt, there's Kurt. Um, Spires, S-P-Y-R-S, is where we're supposed to be at 4,000 feet. That's why we've been cleared down to that. After that's 3,000 feet at Bulgars, and then 2,500 feet at Charcoal, and then the airport. 14 mile final approach. Continue slowing, 240. Gonna fly the ILS. 34 miles out now, 9,600 feet. We'll shallow out our descent right now to 1,400 feet per minute. Uh, ILS runway 17 right, ILS frequency 110.3, VOR 114.8, runway length 10,000 feet, airport elevation 501 feet, approach course 170, minimums are 685, we'll be exiting right if we make it to the airport. I was totally prepared and I'm still psychologically readying myself for some kind of a problem, you know, a freeze or a crash to desktop or something. And that may very well still happen. I have no idea. All I can tell you right, is right now it seems to be functioning. So we're beginning to make our right turn at D-Lamp. See it here on the PFD. D-Lamp. And uh, that'll be uh, basically a downwind. Sunset looks great. There's a city down there. 30 miles out, 8,100 feet. We'll shallow water descent rate to 1,000 feet per minute, and we'll slow 230. Just 29 miles. Here's that right turn at D lamp. Louisville approach Cessna. Lights look good. Oh, God, they still haven't fixed that. Cessna tree bump. Oh, boy. Louisville approach Cessna November tree four. Bravo Whiskey is type Cessna C700, three miles southeast of Bowman, 7,700 feet. Oh, there's still issues. Request flight following. Cessna November 343 Bravo Whiskey, Louisville approach. Squawk 7733. I assume that's the city. Prop, yeah, that's the Squawk city of Louisville. Squawk 7733 Cessna 3 Bravo Whiskey. Cessna 3 Bravo Whiskey, radar copy. 
contact two miles east of the Ohio River. Three zero four five. Roger Cessna, Tree Bravo Whiskey. Three zero four five. It's loaded two one zero. I'm waiting for the landing gear alarm guy. Airport's just off to our left. A beautiful sunset. Wow. Now, will we be able to get landing clearance? KSDF, that's where we're going. Louisville Tower, Cessna, November, tree four, tree Bravo, whiskey okay. is eight miles northeast, 6,500 feet with uniform to land. 23 miles Air left. Wings 1778, turn next taxiway. And, uh, November, tree four, tree Bravo, whiskey, 200 feet. Altimeter, tree zero, decimal, Shallow. Four, five, wind, zero, eight, five, seven, 700 feet. Zero. Left, base, runway, one, seven, right. Wait, what are the winds? Enter left, face runway, one, seven, right, Cessna, tree Bravo, whiskey. 085 at 7. The winds are out of the east. Hmm. Weather in Louisville, the live weather in Louisville. 41 degrees. And yeah, winds out of the east. Okay. Oh, did you just see that haze populate? That was kind of cool. 21 miles, 5,900 feet. We're looking good. I might. Let's see, what did I say the IF was spires? Oh, we have the ILS pre programmed in. Yeah, I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna start turning base now. Oh God, some things never change. Spirit wings one seven seven eight exit runway when able. Slow to two zero zero. Yeah, there's no need to do this long dog leg. We're just gonna head straight to Spires. Right here. Remember, the approach course is 170. We want to approach it from about 200. But we'll go to 290 right now. Correction, 280. Spirit wings 1778, turn next taxiway. We don't want to stop descending, and I do see our ILS coming up. So I'm going to set our altitude at minimums, which are 700, actually 685, but I'm going to set it at 700 just so we don't stop descending. Our ILS is coming up, so that's very encouraging. And we're just about ready, assuming that it works. Get our landing lights on. Slow to 190. Spirit wings 1778, exit runway, I'm waiting for the landing gear alarm. We're headed, look at that sunset. Headed straight for Spires right now. I'm going to continue our left turn. 260 would be a direct base. So let's do 230. Let's go to 180. There it is. That spirit wings better get his ass off the runway. That's all I can tell you. Shallow water is at rate 400 feet per minute. Continue that left turn. 220. And now we're going to switch over to nav mode. And we're going to switch over to ILS. See right there? The, that's just perfect. Notch of flaps. Here's the runway, dead ahead. We're gonna be sliding right, un right in underneath the ILS. Under the glide slope, so 170. Oh, pass right over downtown, EPPR. Perfect, GS, we're on the glide slope. And on final, zoom in on our MFD down to two. This would be the worst time for it to crash, since it's actually working. Bridges look a little screwy, but maybe they'll resolve as we get closer. 170. 
We already have one zip and zero set. 8.6 nautical miles. We'll slow to one, six, five. We'll go outside. Cross your fingers. All right, that's encouraging. Here. Okay. Slow. One six zero. Approach speed is one three five on this one. Now one five five. We'll look outside. That looks pretty good. Bridge looks good there. Another notch of flaps. Haze looks fantastic in my book. Wind calm now. Okay, one three five. Clear to land right Full flaps. Lots going on. Okay, full flaps. Landing lights are on. We remain on the glide slope. Airspeed now set to approach. One three five. Let's see if we get a bandwidth warning because we're flying right over downtown. That looks pretty good, if you ask me. We remain on the glide slope. Airspeed's perfect. Configured stable. I like the haze. Disconnect the auto throttle. Wait for the 500 call out. Passenger view, my dog's view. Mile final, one seven right. Heading corresponds, one seven three. It's like we got a little tiny little wind out of the right, out of the out of the west, right up here. But that may shift. Now we're no wind data. Got our speed picked up a little bit. Just about to get the call out. Got two and two on the poppies. Two whites, two reds. That's good. Not quite aligned though. So autopilot. Little dance here to the left. Runway lights look good. Poppies are visible. Three and one. Now back to two and two. Just don't freeze on me now, baby. Cars on the highway. Your speed's perfect. One hundred fifty. Fifteen ten. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Got a little gust of wind or something there at the end. Spoilers are up. Reversers. No reversers. There are the reversers. They took their time though, didn't they? I don't appear to have any taxi li or landing lights. The runway looks black as pitch. Yeah, winds finally did shift to the east. That was that little that little toss we got there at the end. The wind suddenly shifted and corrected itself. I'm working on it, pal. There we go. Yeah, the taxi ribbons are the only thing I use. Well, welcome to Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, okay, we'll stop our timer. 39 minutes since we started our takeoff roll out of uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Let's go ahead and uh, clean up the airplane. Taxi lights on, pulse lights off. Get the lights up in the cockpit just a little bit. And we'll zoom, or we'll contact ground. Parking. Well, other than the goofy IFR cancellation, I mean, it was pretty much perfect. Spoilers in. And we'll bring in the flaps as well.
Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Charlie Bravo Cross Runway 17 Right Cross Runway 11 Golf Cessna Tree Bravo Whiskey. Okay, let's go. Local time, 5.40. The taxi light looks better, but the landing lights didn't seem to illuminate the runway at all, but that's little stuff. Um, anyway, I don't know. It's only one flight, so I can't draw any conclusions about the stability of the sim post SU-7 update, but... I mean, I guess something could still happen between now and getting to our parking space, but by and large, I would rate... <laughs> Talk about good timing, huh? I would rate this um, pretty successful. I don't mind the photogrammetry warnings once I've landed. They're kind of a pain in the butt when they happen when you're on short final. But I'll t I'll t I don't mind, and I'll tolerate it. When it happens in this setting. They made a lot of changes. I mean, a lot of... Uh, this is a huge update. Huge. 18 gigs. So, lots more to explore. But, uh, for now, this was a successful flight. Skies look good. Didn't really have any clouds on this flight. It was sunny in Fort Wayne and sunny here in Louisville, where it's a gorgeous fall evening. 41 degrees and clear, as you can see. There's our parking space over there, about 2 o'clock. Let's see. How do they want us to get there? There looks like they're taking us through some goofy way. I'm going to cheat here just a, just a bit. Just to save us a little time. We're using the runways as taxiways. That's okay, isn't it? All right, there's our parking spot. Okay. See our parking space there on the left? Yeah, runway lights look great. Somebody was saying that they were too dim, but they look great to me. All right, well, now it's Kentucky. Tomorrow, Tennessee. I'm off work next week. So, I'll hopefully get some more flying in if it stays stable like this. All right. Yeah, get out of my way, forklift. Any flashlight help? Where is he? Where is the flashlight guy? Is he there? There he is. Well, friends, first successful flight post SU-4, SU-7. Well, watch. See, now we can turn that off. That's very nice. Right engine. See the right engine spooling down. Acknowledge. 
Very good. It's nice to be able to turn those off, isn't it? Okay, anti-icing equipment. Turn off our taxi light. Let's just take one last little gander. I like it. I approve. It's only one flight. Lots could still happen, but... It's a good, good development. All right, friends, let's kill that left engine. Were you still going to drop the logbook screen? Yes, we are. Oh, look, I'm getting credit again. Or at least it's showing up on this logbook. It was already showing up in the other logbook. One day takeoff, one day landing. 30, even though it was post-sunset. Hmm. 38 minutes and 16 seconds from KFWA, Fort Worth, Indiana to KSDF, Louisville, Kentucky. Well, sigh of relief, at least based on this single flight. Stable post-SU-7 flight and uh, i hope it stays that way have a good week and um and i hope everybody's well bye bye